so thank you everybody for coming. I would like to um, welcome our Deputy Chair of Governors, um, Sean Jerry, who's going to come up and give a welcome. Well, good afternoon everyone. Welcome to the Queen Elizabeth High School Year 11 presentation. I'm actually Sean J. Rigg, um, and I'm one of the governors of this fantastic school. So first of all, it's congratulations to all of the prize winners, and then to all of you for the hard work and commitment you have shown in these challenging years, and I promise I'm not going to use the word unprecedented. We know that you will continue to make all the efforts that you have been, and that you will reap all of the rewards that you deserve for that hard work. I'd like to take the opportunity though to acknowledge that you're here not just because of your hard work, but because of the drive and enthusiasm of all of the staff in this school. And on behalf of the governing body, I want to thank all of the staff and say that we know that you have gone and are going above and beyond. And we're grateful. I also need to thank parents and carers for their support and encouragement in what must have been a disruptive couple of years for them too. So I'm glad, I think we're all glad that the school is open again, <coughs> everyone is back in the classroom, house activities are in full flow, and you can start really enjoying your time here at this fabulous school. Well done, everybody. Year 11, let's imagine for a moment that we could travel back in time and actually design a school from scratch and have a think for a moment what that school would look like, what it is that you would like to do, what it would be like to experience during the course of a regular school day. So what you currently experience, let's just park that for a moment and let's imagine we've got a blank sheet of paper. So what I'd like to do is just throw it open to the floor please, ideas in terms of what we could do to set up a school and educational philosophy from <coughs> scratch. Ideas, please, from the audience. Go for it. Spend weeks home alone learning from a screen. Right. Spend weeks home alone staring at a screen, having minimal contact with friends, um, just only ever seeing your teacher on a screen. All of the work has to be put onto that screen, onto that learning platform. So maybe that could be something that we'd start off as a philosophy for a school. What else could we do, Tom? Spend all day in the same classroom. Spe so when we're in school, we're gonna spend all day just in the one classroom and the teachers come to us, okay? So we'll add that to the list, add that to the philosophy. Thank you. All lessons for the same 30 students. And then once you're in that one classroom, you'll have all of your lessons with the same 30 students. So no mixing within the year group, just with the same 30 day in, day out. We'll add that to the list then, thank you. No house competitions. So we've got houses, but there are no competitions. So you never ever get the chance to compete against the other houses. Yep, okay. Let's uh, hold on to that thought. No student leadership opportunities. No chances to work with students in other year groups. So all of those amazing leadership opportunities that you would expect in a school, we'd have none of those. Add that to the list, thank you. Sorry? No inter school sports. No sport. So there's no playing football, netball, rugby, rounders against other schools. So that's not an option. All right? No trips and visits. No trips and visits anywhere. So no excursions either within the UK or abroad. Everything is just <laughs> static. No external <coughs> extracurricular activities. Thank you. The year groups are segregated. So break and lunch time, we'll put some ropes up on the field and the year sevens will have to be in one area 
the year eight's in another, year 11's in another. So we segregate the year groups. Imagine that. Finally. Sorry? DT lessons without the proper equipment. So never picking up a hammer, a saw, a file, just having endless theory lessons. Anyway, one more, yeah. And no science experiment. So never turning on a Bunsen burner, picking up a, a, a test tube to conduct experiments. Those ideas, they paint a pretty bleak, grim picture, don't they? However, everyone in this room will have some recollection of that because those are the experiences that you have gone through in year 10 and to an extent in year nine as well. And I've come out of the other side. No one would ever dream of setting up an educational philosophy with those ideas. If you're wondering, yes, they were primed and planted. Okay, the students have been asked to contribute those ideas. They haven't been brainwashed into a, a COVID-like existence. So thank you for joining in so willingly with that. Clearly, you're in a new situation. The reset button has been pressed. You're back in school, normal lessons. You can go to your science laboratories, conduct experiments. You're enjoying house competitions, those fantastic netball and football competitions we enjoyed the other week. You're actually conducting practical lessons within your DT workshops and within your art studios, and you're mixing with other year groups, supporting them as subject ambassadors, peer mentors, etc. All of these amazing opportunities that life in a fantastic school like QEHS is all about. You're very lucky year 11, you're in school, and on the face of it, you've got this fantastic run through towards a regular set of exams to, sh to show this summer just how good you are. So when the prize givers come up, do please acknowledge that they've achieved these awards and this recognition during some very trying, difficult times. And what I'll say to everyone who's not coming up for an award is you deserve one. You deserve a special reward for resilience. What you have done, what you have shown is amazing resilience in the face of some very trying times. And now is the time to maximize all of the opportunities that you have in this fine school to make the most of your year 11 and to make sure that your results are as successful as possible. Your staff are here to support you, your parents are there to support you, and together we want the very best for you. So aim high and work hard. Thank you for listening. Thank you. And so we come to the presentation of our prizes. And this first group of prizes goes for academic table of achievement last academic year. And I'm going to read the names out as a group. We'll then applaud them as they come across the stage after I've read the names out. So this first group of students are Tom Bailey, Francesca Bonnet, Harrison Brown, Andriana Castellan, May Coggan, Ella Coleman, who unfortunately can't be with us today, she's absent. Kieran Donaldson and Jamie Ellis.
our next uh, group of prizes then, and the final uh, in these uh, set of prizes go to Rebecca Oakridge, Grace Overall, Alexandra Pearson, Amy Pearson, Mitchell Pettit, Freddie Starkey, Suzanne Timms, and Henry Waldron. This goes to Tony Morgan. So we now come to the school faculty prizes, and the first of these prizes is the school prize for PE, which goes to Harrison Brown. The School Prize for Technology to Francesca Lee. Bedrock Vocabulary Schools, Alice Davies. later than we were hoping they would be. This is the Duke of Edinburgh Bronze Award Prizes. Um, and uh, I'm going to read these out in groups of about five-ish as we go through. Um, the groups could come up onto the edge of the stage here, ready to go forward. So we'll start with the first group of prize winners. Oh, I ought to say, there are some additional people who've got prizes and we've only been able to process their awards this week. Um, I'm very sorry, they're not therefore on the list. But we will make sure that we give them awards uh, in the next uh, year group assembly. So, our first group here are Tom Bailey, George Bingham and Harrison Brown. Isabel Carter is not able to be with us, she's absent today, but we do, I think, have Beth Caldwell here. Derwin Chen and Harrison Clark, I think, are also absent today, but we should have Heath Clark here, and we should, I think if I call the rest of the names out from over there, uh, have Alice Davies, Finley Dawson, and James E, and Kyra. Herbos. Ella Coleman also is absent, I'm afraid. Thank you.
Evie Forbes is also absent at the moment. We should have here Toby Gibson, Alastair Grierson, Oshanda Kua Manasinga, Kazim Jadoon, Tilda Jorgerson. Thank you very much. 